Adrian, so many chances in the second half. You, you guys fall one no. What are your initial thoughts? Well, obviously, usually disappointed. Um, I think if you reflect on the game, um, it's not a fair result. You know, I'm looking at what Danes had to do during the game. Um, I thought our forward play in the first half was not what it could be and not what it has been. I thought we gave the ball away too much. Second half, we're a bit better. We got a few more uh, bodies forward, played with a little bit more urgency, played with a little bit more quality, had a little bit better final po ball. And, you know, it was always going to be tight. And the first goal was always going to be massive. And we had a couple of great chances to take, get the first goal. We don't take them. And then you always leave yourself, you know, uh, susceptible when you're pushing as many men forward as we were. What was your view and take on that goal? Um, it's a foul in front of me. Ray gets his shirt pulled. That's clear as day for everybody to see. Um, but then I think we should have done better at the other end. I thought Ethan and um, Ethan and Bakai, they, they, the guy got in too easy. You had a massive change of pace coming into the second half. What did you say to uh, the locker room at halftime, and what did you kind of? Well, we, we, we ju I just said to the players that we need more urgency and more energy in our play and in the game, and I thought we bought that in the second half. And um, you know, I thought most of the second half was played in their half of the field, and but for a, a couple of decent saves. But more importantly, I felt. Um, we should have done better with the opportunities that came away. Did you get a good look at Pookie's opportunity? And did, did there was a lot of bodies in front of me, but you know, listening to the guys and everybody, you know, it's one of them. He probably thinks he should have scored. What did you think of the defending as a whole tonight? Obviously, you talked about the goal conceded, but just overall, with Ethan on the left, and obviously some changes that had to be made due to Mickey's absence. I thought absence. Ethan had a good first half, actually. Um, you know, it's never easy against Johnny Russell, and I thought he handled him pretty well. Um, Overall, I thought it was better this evening. Um, but just disappointing, really, because as much as I thought they, they looked pretty dangerous in the first half, they didn't really create an awful lot. Um, so to, to not come away with anything um, is a disappointment. Is there a fear at all that a loss like this can sort of maybe deflate the team or have a, a compounding negative effect at such a crucial point in the season for you guys? Well, it has to. We have to make sure it doesn't. You know, we've what well, we got six. Is it six left? And you know, and as I said a few, few weeks and weeks ago, probably need to go to win four or five of them games. I said at the time, probably still need to win at least two. I would think to give ourselves a, a good opportunity of making the playoffs. Did you have a chance, or did you have eyes? On the, on the bench to get a good look at uh, the, the Boxel uh, offsides call? Yeah, I couldn't see from where I was, Jerry. You know, I'll have to look at it again. As you mentioned, you have six matches left. You play Kansas City a third time this season. How do you feel about them? Uh, have really just having to play them three times in a league this big? Well, it's not ideal when you don't play some of the other teams at all. Um, and the one thing is, you know, we, we'll have to play better than we normally do. It's not been a good place for us in the past down at uh, Children's Mercy, is it? Children's Mercy. So, hey, but we, as I said, we've got six games left. We've, we know what we've got to do. And if we do that, we'll give ourselves a good chance. Uh, you came into tonight three points off of fourth. Um, mm -hmm. You know, drop points like this can ha really have, uh, you know, implications in terms of where you guys end up. You know, how, how much of a missed opportunity you guys think this is in the grand scheme of things tonight? Well, it would have made it ex extremely difficult for Kansas had we won this evening. We'd have gone eight points clear with the game in hand to them. Um, now we've probably thrown that a little bit of initiative away. Um, we've still got a game in hand on them. Obviously, if you look at everybody's fixtures, everybody's playing each other all the way now through to the end. So uh, I don't think it, what I said to you a few weeks ago will change. Out of them six, we're probably going to need at least two, I would think, two wins at least. Did it disrupt much not having uh, Mickey or Will? No, I, I just, you know, I, I had a lot of faith in the front four before the game. And, I, you know, as I said to them at, at, at half time, I thought we needed a little bit more from the four front players. Is there a specific reason for, for Will not being in the 11 and Will's, starting on the bench? Will, had, after the game last Saturday, trained for the first time on Friday.
he's been ill. He's been off it with an illness. I just didn't think that was the right preparation for a big game like this. And then uh, update on Mickey, his uh, timeline? Well, we're hoping maybe for Wednesday. It was maybe touch and go for the, for the game today. But, um, you know, Debassi will be a lot better for the game that he's had. And if we have to go with Debassi in LA, that's what we'll do. How much of a challenge coming back three days later or get him, get him back out there and give us behind well, you? Well, you know, LA are playing now and they're going to be playing against us again on on Wednesday. So it's the same for everybody. Obviously, the travel's not ideal, but hey, it's the same for everybody. Let's get on with it. Could it have a positive mental effect, just you know, automatically having to turn the page and look ahead? Well, you do. You have to at this stage of the season. There's no, no feeling sorry for yourself. You know, it's, we've got a game again in, in three days. got to make sure we're ready, prepared. And we will be. Any more right here? All right, thank you. Thank you.